Ahoy everyone and welcome back once again to I Like Watches. The AliExpress sale has just started. It is of course the 11th of the 11th sale, which tends to be the best sale throughout the course of the year. So if you're thinking about picking any watches up from AliExpress anytime soon, now is probably the time to do it. A little while ago, I was having to think about what sort of video I could produce for you today. Will I do a top 10 San Martin watches, just a general top 10. But then I thought, let's contact San Martin and see if they're prepared to to rank their own watches. What do they think of their own watches? I messaged them, I wasn't expecting a reply and to my surprise, they messaged me back giving me their top 10 San Martin watches. So I thought I'd share that with you in today's video. I will also give you my top three. Let's take a look. Now I have taken a look at the watches they've selected for their top 10 and I don't think they're the top 10 best deals during this sale. I think it's probably just their top 10 favourite watches that they've made. So if you are interested in picking up the best deals from San Martin during this sale, I think you're better off looking at the 50% off clearance section. There is a tab on their official store look and um, these are the watches that they're offering the best discounts on. So um, yeah, this is probably where to look. Now I've loaded the tabs up onto my screen and I am recording my screen. I will show you the watches in order as well. So 10th up to um, first, what they consider to be their best watch. And I'm not just going to show you the watches. I'm also going to check out. That is the advantage of producing this video today. I can check out and show you exactly what I'm being asked to pay for each watch. Um, right, let's start at number 10. It's this Panda Chrono. 40 millimeter Panda Chrono, um, 100 meters of water resistance. Just looking at some of the specs here. ST1901, that is the movement that you'll see inside of the um, Siegel 1963. It's nice enough. I'm not so sure it would have made my um, top 10. At the moment, it is 203 US dollars, but of course that's not taking into account all the sale prices. Um, I'm not seeing any coupons or discount codes. I'll make sure I collect those before I check out. So um, let's buy now and see what I'm actually expected to pay. $202. It doesn't look like this watch is eligible for the $4 off for every $20 spent. So um, yeah, I don't expect this one to be particularly popular in the sale. That's a half decent price, but um, yeah, I think people are looking for better deals than that. They've ranked this as number nine. I really like this watch. I probably would have placed this higher than nine. Um, I love that color combination of gold accents on the dial with a green dial. This is a beautiful watch. Really, really nice. It's a 36 millimeter watch, 100 meters of water resistance. What's the movement? Is it the NH35? or PT5000, PT5000, okay, so PT5000, it's listed as $219, um, there's no coupons or anything, so let's check out and see what I can get this for today, again, it's not eligible for the $4 off for every $20 spent, um, which is a bit disappointing, isn't it, so yeah, $217, at number eight, they've ranked a fairly similar watch, haven't they, this is their Ranger Homage, a little bit bigger, 38 millimeters, again, 100 meters of water resistance, BGW9. Um, I'm not wild about the hour hand, so I don't think this watch would have made my top 10, but it has been an incredibly popular style, especially throughout 2022. NH35 inside of this one, it's currently up for $211. Looks like this one is eligible for the $4 off for every $20 spent. Um, so yeah, let's see what we're actually going to pay for this watch today, 193 US dollars. So um, yeah, that's not a bad price for that watch. Now they've put this watch in at number seven. I don't think this would have made my top 10 actually. I'm not wild about the skeletonized hands. I quite like the K shape. I mean, it's a San Martin diver. So I do like it. I like the bracelet as well. This one has a really, really nice bracelet. Um, 300 meter diver as well. So it's gonna be a little bit thicker than your standard sort of 200 meter divers. NH35, um, yeah, it's not a bad watch at all, um, but $202, let's check out. There's no other coupons, is there? No. So I'm being asked to pay $201. Again, not eligible for the $4 off for every $20 spent. That's a shame. Now, I'm not surprised to see this watch in their top 10. It is, of course, an NH34 powered GMT. I think it would have been on the cusp of my top 10. Probably not in it, but um, yeah, I do like this watch. Aluminium bezel insert. I do prefer 
um, ceramic and ceramic bezel inserts are difficult to make um, when they are half blue half red so um, yeah that is probably why they've put an aluminium one on this watch to keep the costs down um, you're going to pay a little bit more for this watch than you will a standard NH35 diver $253 um, let's see what I'm being asked to pay for this watch $252 Hmm. They've ranked this then as number five, and I'm not at all surprised. It probably would have been in my top five. It's their Grade 5 Titanium Luxury Diver. It is incredible, this watch, actually. Titanium is very difficult to work with. It's a very hard material, and um, they've finished this watch to an unbelievable standard. Yeah, it's incredible. It is one of their most expensive watches, so you are going to pay for it, but um, yeah, it's a cracking watch. 300 meter diver, and actually this one isn't too thick. 40 millimeters in diameter. What was the movement? PT5000 or SW200, of course. Um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend getting it with the SW200. It makes it very expensive. Um, the PT5000 is good enough for this watch, I think. And um, yeah, I mean, it's $316 at the moment. Have they included the $4 off for every $20 spent? No, $315 this time. This watch is number four. I don't think this watch would have made my top five. Might not have even made my top ten, actually. Um, yeah, I've seen the GMT version of this watch. I haven't seen this one, which is the standard three-handed version. Um, this one does get the $4 off for every $20 spent. Yay! They're currently asking for $225 for this watch. NH35, 200 meter diver. Let's see what that takes the price to. 207 US dollars, which is okay, actually. I've always said if you can pick up a San Martin diver for between $200 and $250, I think that is the sweet spot. So, yeah, it's at the lower end of that sweet spot. Right, we're now into the top three, and I'm going to give you their top three, and I'm also going to give you my top three. And I'm not at all surprised to see them put this in their top three. This is a fairly new release, and it's sold in decent numbers already. It is one of their affordable range of watches. So they're making a few watches um, with a few um, specification sacrifices. I think that's probably the best way to put it. Not a lot of sacrifices actually and they're not making these wildly cheap and affordable but they are just bringing them down as you can see to the sub $200 price bracket and this one is eligible for the $4 off for every $20 spent. I showed this watch in a video recently. I'll link that in the video description. What can we buy this for? $161. That's much more like it, isn't it? Absolutely. Brilliant. $161 for that is very, very good. Now, I selected the SN004 version 3 as my third best San Martin watch. It probably was my best at some point i mean it's incredibly well made this one um, when they started producing this version 3 they stepped up their production quality a little bit and there was a noticeable improvement in steel finishing bezel actions all that sort of stuff and so yeah when this watch first came out it was a step above most of their other watches um it's incredibly well made but you're gonna pay a premium for it there are their older sn0004s available for less money but um for me the version three is where it's at pt5000 again though it's in that sweet spot look 231 dollars and this one is eligible for four dollars off for every 20 dollars spent so let's see what i'm being asked to pay 213 dollars for a pt5000 powered premium san martin diver i think is good yeah that's a good price definitely right let's have a look at their number two it is again one of their more affordable range of watches it's their NH34 powered GMT and wow, $160 look. It doesn't look like this one is available for the $4 off for every $20 spent, but they've already priced it look at $160 during the sale. For an NH34 powered GMT by San Martin, um, that's very, very good. I haven't seen this watch, so I don't know what they've compromised, if anything, in terms of the specifications. But you can see this one. It's a fairly new release and it's already sold 260 units. This is going to be a popular watch. Um, let's see what I can actually pick it up for. What? It's dropped below the UK tax threshold, which means I have to pay VAT on this watch. Pushing the price back up to $191, of course. Um, cheaper products on AliExpress have VAT added at the point of sale. Um, the more expensive watches... 
um, have it added when they come into the country. But of course, they don't all get picked up when they come into the country. So um, on this occasion, um, the more affordable price is, well making it even more expensive than you'd want, I think. So that's a real shame, isn't it? I've put this watch in at number two. I love this watch. I've been picking up a lot more vintage Seiko watches recently. So I've got a newfound enthusiasm for this watch. This is not at all one of their most popular watches. It's probably one of their least popular watches, but it's one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. ST2100 movement inside of this. So it's probably gonna be some sort of ETA 2824 clone. $252 though, it's not one of their most affordable watches, but I just love it. The applied indices are massive, uh, just an incredible vintage inspired homage watch. It is of course, paying homage to the Seiko Superior from the 70s. What am I doing? I don't want to look at specifications. I want to look at price. Um, let me check out. I'm able to pick this watch up for 234 US dollars. Not going to be a popular one, but I love it. Now, it's probably no surprise to see this watch in at number one for both San Martin and myself. I've ranked this as their best watch, and I don't know if you noticed, I'm wearing it. I can't let this one go. I'm going to be keeping hold of this one. It is incredible. Not even the polished Centrelinks are ruining it for me. And actually, to some degree, the polished Centrelinks sort of go with the watch because it's quite a dressy dive style um, GMT watch, isn't it? Beautiful dial. I just love it. it is incredible absolutely amazing this watch i can't say enough good things about it but you are gonna pay for it it's a popular one look 229 units sold five stars out of five i am not surprised um 274 dollars but you are going to get the four dollars off taking it down to the four dollars off for every 20 dollars spent i should say um 260 ish dollars um which you know is a good price for this watch it's amazing absolutely love it right guys um let me know in the comments section if i've missed any obvious um san martin watches out what would you have liked to have seen did i say that right i think i did um in their top 10 right guys happy shopping and thanks for your wonderful support